That car that has spent more than a day now in the Niagara River near the falls is getting closer to going over the edge. Good evening, I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And I'm Scott Levin. What is still a question tonight is whether they're going to be able to actually get it out of there before it falls. Two on your sides, Jeff Preval is live with the latest for us tonight. Jeff. Yeah, police, they still are investigating those circumstances, Scott and Mary Alice. We've been here for most of the day, and that car that plunged into the upper Niagara River remains. You can see there, it might be tough to see with it getting dark outside, but that black sedan remains. The wheels are up, and that car is just feet from the brink now. Police, they are really in no hurry to get the car removed. Meantime, police now say from information they've discovered in their investigation that it appears the driver intentionally drove into the river. Police, they still have not released the victim's name because she still has not been positively identified by the Erie County Medical Examiner's Office. Park police say that they've heard from a number of companies that have specialized removal equipment that have offered their services to remove the car. We've had all kinds of places reach out to us offering their assistance. We've referred them to operations and they're going to make that decision. I know there's some, some weather coming, so I'm sure that would play into any kind of, whether it's a land base or an air base, removal of the vehicle. And police say that they are considering numerous options to remove the car from using a crane to uh, swift water rescue units, similar to what we saw yesterday from the U.S. Coast Guard. All the water attractions at the falls are closed, so even if the car does go over the falls, it would just land on rocks. Now back live here, again, you could see that car, the wheels are up just feet from the brink here. There's really no time frame for removing the car. It's something that we'll have to wait and see. Reporting live from Niagara Falls tonight, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News. All right, Jeff, thank you. We also want to take a moment to remind you that help is always available if you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide. The 24-hour, 7-day-a-week crisis services hotline is 716-834-3131.